welcome back to everyone. My name is Shiva Magarwal and this is AI machine learning and deep learning project series in Python. This will be our project six called as cat versus dog in deep learning. So till now we have been working on projects related to text data, be it bank, uh, bank credit card detection or heart attack prediction, something like that. So we have been dealing with text data. Now let us try to deal with some image data. Okay. So we'll be having some image as our data and we'll try to predict whether the image belongs to cat or a dog, whether the image is of a cat or a dog using deep learning. In the last project, we deployed a artificial neural network based model. Okay. So for images, we have something called as convolutional neural network. Okay. So you can see over here, we have something called as convolutional neural network, which we'll be creating in the coming video, uh, where we'll be training and testing our images on the convolutional neural network. We'll see the data set. We'll see how to uh, flow the images from the directory into our uh, training variables because it is easy to uh, get those data or uh, text data into a variable, but it is uh, quite difficult to get an image data into a variable. Okay, so we'll see how to do that. Next, we'll create the convolutional neural network called as CNN. Then we'll see how to train it, how to test it, and we'll try to predict based on uh, the data images. Okay, so let us look at the data set right here. Okay, so I have the data set on Kaggle. If you say Kaggle, you can see right over here. If I say dog versus cat, so this is the data set that I have, have over here cat versus dog or dog versus cat, you can say. Okay, so in this data set, you can have two files that are test and train. If you see the train file, you see zero and one. So zero is probably standing for the cat. So you can see there are cat images in the zero folder. This is cat, another cat image. This is another cat image. So inside the zero folder, you can see there are cat images and inside the one folder, you will see some dog images. Okay, so this is a dog image, another dog image. Okay, so you can see all type of breeds of dogs and cats over here. So we have a lot of data for our model to be trained on. However, the size of the, this data set is not quite large. So I'm not expecting a very high accuracy, but still because we have uh, a, lo uh, a lot of views and downloads, I'm expecting that this data set will quietly be uh, used for our model. The data set size is 432 MP. So I'll supply you the link to this data set. Okay, so you can come and download over here. But what I recommend is you use Kaggle community platform for creating your project so that you don't have to download or upload the data set anywhere. You don't have to worry about the system requirements or the uh, software requirements. You just have to uh, create new notebook over here and you can work start, uh, start, start to work with the data. Okay. So in the next video, we'll see how to work with this data set, how to uh, work with convolutional neural network. We'll see how to create the network, how to predict the model and how to deal with the images. Okay. You have already seen the data set. Let me just show you that how this data set is arranged so that in the next video, I don't have to do that. Inside the dog versus cat folder, you have training and testing. So we don't have to split the train and test values. The user, uh, the creator of the, this data set already has split the data set into two parts. So we don't have to uh, split the data set. So we don't use train test splitting. Next, what we want is we have some zero values and one values. So we have to flow all these images into the variable as directory name. Okay. So we'll be dealing with that in the next video. Uh, let us meet directly in the next video when we start the creation of this project. Okay, thank you.